Hi everyone and welcome back. This is the part two of our previous video. In the last video, we were talking about uh, Larna monorepo, and we uh, did talk about a small example where we were able to set up the React app and the Node.js API app in one single Larna monorepo. Now, in this video, we are going to talk a little bit further, and we will see how we can manage the multiple services multiple packages multiple applications in a one single mono repo so what we are going to do here we will just hit larna in it so it will just give us the, the basic folder structure that folder structure contains the larna json and the package json now what we are going to do is we are going to add a multiple packages before that we are going to add couple of dev dependencies so because this is going to be the root project and here also we need uh, some kind of a packages for the commit uh, for enforcing the commit guidelines so we need a husky prettier uh, eslint all these dependencies we need we need typescript right so, and jest husky all these dependencies we need so i will just copy and paste all from my template okay and then we will do npm install and we also need a uh, prettier and ts jest to run the test cases written in typescript okay so these are all dev dependencies we need okay and then we will just do npm install so we will get whatever we needed all these dependencies will be installed and then we will talk about the script okay inside script we are going to write most of these scripts related to larna okay like larna bootstrap larna run build run, larna uh, run start all these scripts okay so let's talk about the first script which is bootstrap this is simple larna run bootstrap or we can also execute it in, in all the packages so this is a bootstrap command then we have a build command like if you are writing the packages in typescript then we have to do the build and here we can use the build command so in all the packages it will look for the build command similarly the clean clean will do will run the larna clean and here we are going to execute larna run clean so it will execute the clean command in all the packages similarly we have a lot of other commands okay because this is the root of the projects we haven't created any packages yet so we can enforce uh, the commit conventions using commit uh, cli so for that we have we will be creating some files so here rest all the other files are like prettier we just need to exclude the dist build whatever we see coverage a standard uh, git ignore file for javascript applications okay now we can create a because here also we are going to run the test cases so eslint rc and we can also create a husky so it's like the the basic setup of a larna and here we have all the packages so we can create we can add some new packages here okay so couple of more files eslint ignore eslint rc prettier ignore like i mean these are like in all the projects you see okay which all files the prettier through prettier you wanted to ignore so prettier i mean i can just use some standard template which has all these things already there and then i will have a commit lint config commit lint config js just dot config dot js which talks about okay where all the test cases you have if you wanted to run the test cases then what will be the just configuration you are going to use so just configurations is pretty much simple here we just talk about okay what all files you wanted to execute in the test cases like what will be the extension and all where you wanted to put your coverage which all files you wanted to collect the coverage from the module extensions and all okay so we have a couple of things ready already all the dependencies are installed now coming back to our package json before creating new packages 
okay here now we have set up uh, the jest and all we can also add something related to linters and all right so i can just do npm run lint because i have already added the es lint if you look into package json we have all the es lint plugins so and we already have es lint rc we can actually run the lint command and es lint dot it will look for extension dot ts and it will also run the fix quietly so this is my lint command then i have a prepare prepare for husky so here i have simply husky install similarly we can also have a test command which will do nothing but execute the test command in all the packages learn or run test okay i think this is pretty much we have okay so this is our basic setup now we can start adding the packages here okay so if i run these commands npm run build npm run test npm run prepare i mean npm run build it will not do anything because we don't have packages so before even running those commands we can execute npm run prepare so it will install the husky uh, inside our dot husky folder and we can also copy our hooks the popular hooks like the commit message pre commit and prepare commit message these hooks inside the husky folder okay so we have commit message pre commit and prepare commit message these are the three hooks now prettier ignore or eslint ignore we don't want to run eslint uh, on node modules that is obvious we need to have these eslint ignore otherwise your eslint file keeps running on node modules and it will take a lot of time similarly prettier ignore file there also we can put the same thing like all the the build folders package log json and all these files there i don't want it to run the prettier like any exceptional js json files or some text files you can put all those things like the coverage the build the dist artifacts all these things prettier i don't want to run there just config lana json i mean it contains lot of things we will keep adding things there lot of other configurations in the lana json is all about the publishing the modules to some particular npm private repository either gitlab private repository or the github private repository and what is your package manager all these information we put here and the packages are inside the packages folder next thing we can just start doing is uh, we can add the the new packages so the simple command is lana create and your package name let's create that and here i wanted to create my org common so this is the package i'm going to create no git repository found let's see this i mean you can also pull this pull a particular existing repository from remote and create that as a packages here but here we are creating it from the scratch and similarly we can create another is or utilities modules these are couple of packages we are creating so those all gets added here now you can do the modification in these packages define the the dependencies on one another by adding the scope so if you look into the common package.json it is org common and the version is o.o.o similarly we have modules we have utilities now here you can also add your microservices so they can use this common common like you have common feature about talking to sqs sns some reusable packages you have created reusable modules you have created which you wanted to use across all the folders okay now if i do is npm run bootstrap npm run bootstrap what it will do is it will do npm install in all these packages which are three packages and, and it is doing npm install 
Similarly, we have npm run build. I don't think we have build script. Let's try this. If there is a build command, it will execute it because now we have. Similarly, we can execute npm run test and it is going to execute it on all the packages together. And obviously, it is breaking because we are exiting. So, I mean, there is no particular test script configured in these packages. Okay. So let's see what other scripts we can add. We can add in our root projects how to add a new dependency. All these common things we can still look into uh, this project. Okay, so now our next plan is to modify this package. Let's say we are going to use utilities and we are going to write a custom logger, a simple logger, right? And currently it is JavaScript, nothing related to TypeScript. So we are going to change a lot here. But the advantage we are getting here is whatever the dependencies we have added, like the TypeScript or any other dependency related to test, all those we can reuse at the package level. So we don't need to install each and everything. So what we are going to do is uh, here inside build, because we are going to write TypeScript and we are going to write instead of source, we can convert this into instead of lib, we can convert it to source and we are going to have a TS config file here. Because this is a TypeScript project and we can install some dependencies. So what dependencies we need, uh, we already have a TypeScript installed. We can just install the typings. Node and typings for just if we need to add the test cases. Rest all the dependencies we can inherit from the, the root like uh, the TypeScript and all. And here inside the package.json First of all, we need to populate the tsconfig file. We are just saying, okay, this is my input. I mean, you can just copy any default tsconfig you have. This tsconfig is saying is root directory source and I'm going to generate output directory build and target is 2020 and module system is common JS. Okay, so whatever is inside source, I'm going to write my files. So here it is a logger.ts then I will be exporting logger inside index.ts okay inside package.json we are going to set the target like what will be the root of the whole package so instead of lib we are going to pick things from the build because this is a typescript project and we are going to get the output inside build so build index.js that is the main file and the typings because this is a TypeScript, so it will also generate uh, the types build index.d.ts okay directory source test is there so all these files we are going to bundle together Typings I have defined. Let's see. Now we can also add a scripts. Let's say build. So it will be simple TSC TypeScript. It will look into TS config and it will create a build for us. Whatever is written inside our logger file. So here what, what I'm planning is I will just put a simple logger file. Custom logging and i will be exporting everything from the logger.ts so export everything as logger from this file which is logger so this is our root file and it will also expose the typing when we generate the build we can remove the utilities So simply when you do npm run build, what will happen is we are going to run this through the uh, Larna 
npm run build it will use the tsc which is a typescript build okay tsc command not found so we have to go up and if i do npm run build let's see what happens because it is going to execute this build command in all the packages so executing command npm run build in one package that should be this one only and it will look into the ts config file and it will check okay uh, once the build is done we i'm going to generate the build folder and my root directory is so so here we can see the build has generated this build folder and this is my package.json now what all other things you can do inside this you can also write your test cases and you can add this you can use this test scripts and you can also collect the coverage and all these basic things so let's go to our scripts and we can add these things here so i have a test cases also that i can execute like this and there is a clean command which is going to be executed from the lana like uh, npm run clean from the root of the project and it will execute the clean command in all the packages so for that rim ref we are going to delete the build folder or if we have a coverage then we are going to delete that okay similarly you can have the another external command okay pre build publish so before doing build what we are going to do we have to clean the things like whenever you run the build so it's a pre hook pre build in the pre build we can do npm run clean which will just delete the folders and we can also have another script npm run since you wanted to support like 14.x and npm 6.14 so these are some of the couple of commands which we need and here you can see i am not installing this fbjs script here because i'm picking up this from the root similarly you can have local eslint rc local pretty rc or local ts config and you can extend the ts config defined at the root level okay so now i can just do the build again it will execute pre build pre build will be npm run okay i moved it to the different place this test is simple npm run test so the test is using jest npm run test ci okay so these are the commands similarly you can replicate the same thing for other package now this utility package can be reused into common or any other module packages now we can also add a dependencies uh, so for adding the dependency the simple command is because we have the utilities ready now we can use the utilities package in the modules and in the common so for that we can use lana add the package names so package name is org utilities and where we wanted to use it so the use is this is the target this is the source scope is uh, let's say i want to use it in the commons so the the module name is org common or utilities to org common if you wanted to you add it to some other package you just specify it scope equal to the package name for now we are adding it here only so it will just add the dependencies there and this particular class you can use in that project so it has added this or utility in one package inside a common you can see the package json and you will see that dependency is getting reflected these are the cross package dependency inside a lana like i created a utilities which is taking care of auth0 that is required in all the other microservices so utilities can be a a package even we can publish these to npm private repositories or gitlab private repositories and we can reuse them across the everywhere and it is creating the sim link of the packages and binaries so these are the the very basic utilities you can do you can play with the now you can also publish this whole thing 
individual packages with their respective versions to a particular private repository so you can have the publish commands because what do you see the utilities utilities is a npm it utilities looks like some utility package because it has some utilities there it will not have a runtime execution some utilities you will keep it here that you can publish to a gitlab private repository and then anywhere else you can just use this utility because this is getting published with this package org common this is the package name okay so this is all about learn now you can play around with this this is really cool and this is really helpful the only challenge is how to set up the ci process because when you have the multiple services inside packages then how you can individually deploy that so that is a to totally separate topic i will cover that in the blogs